Hello again, dear friend, and welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and along with my crackbot AI research team, today we will delve into a topic that stirs debate and concern in the realm of higher education. The dangers of the business school mentality taking the reins of the university. This transformation, subtle yet profound, has reshaped the landscape of academic institutions, nudging them closer to corporate models, often at the expense of intellectual exploration and academic freedom. Redefining the Ivory Tower Confronting the Business Takeover of Universities Historically, universities were bastions of learning, dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge for its own sake. Professors were scholars first, educators second, deeply engrossed in their fields of expertise, passionate about imparting wisdom and fostering critical thinking in their students. The university was a sanctuary for the fertile mind, a haven where ideas could blossom without the constraints of immediate practical application or financial gain. However, over the decades, there has been a seismic shift in the ethos governing these institutions. This change didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process, mirroring broader societal changes. The rise of neoliberalism in the late 20th century, with its emphasis on market efficiency, profitability, and competition, began to permeate the walls of academia. Slowly, the language of business and management started to overshadow the lexicon of education and learning. Business schools, with their focus on profit, management, and efficiency, became increasingly influential. Their principles began to seep into the administration of universities, altering priorities. The value of a university education started to be measured more in terms of employability and return on investment than the expansion of knowledge or the cultivation of critical thinking. Research, too, felt the impact, with emphasis shifting towards projects with immediate commercial potential rather than long-term academic contribution. The dangers of this business-centric approach in universities are manifold. It risks narrowing the scope of academic inquiry, favoring fields with clear monetizable outcomes. The liberal arts and humanities, often seen as less directly profitable, face budget cuts, reduced enrollment, and diminished status. This not only impoverishes the intellectual diversity of the university, but also deprives society of the broad, critical perspectives that these fields nurture. Moreover, the business model promotes a transactional view of education, where students are seen as customers and education is a product. This perspective can erode the intrinsic value of learning, reducing it to a mere stepping stone for career advancement rather than a journey of intellectual and personal growth. Addressing these concerns requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders in the education sector, administrators, faculty, students, and policymakers. It involves reasserting the fundamental values of academia, the pursuit of knowledge, the fostering of critical thinking, and the nurturing of intellectual curiosity. One approach is to advocate for policies that prioritize funding for all fields of study not just those with clear commercial potential. Universities could also work towards creating a balance between vocational training and liberal education, ensuring that students receive a well-rounded education that prepares them not just for the job market, but for thoughtful, engaged citizenship. In terms of governance, it's crucial to involve a diverse range of voices in university decision-making processes ensuring that academic considerations are not overshadowed by financial ones. Faculty and students in particular should have a substantial say in shaping the policies that affect their educational environment. As for the question of when and how the shift towards a business-centric model gained prominence, it's a complex tapestry woven from multiple threads of societal, economic, and political changes. 
The latter part of the 20th century, with the rise of neoliberal policies and the increasing commodification of various sectors, including education, played a pivotal role. The globalization of the economy and the increasing emphasis on measurable outcomes and accountability in public funding further fueled this shift. We must learn to be wary of money and success because the idea of a higher education is to teach what one doesn't know and not always what one wants to know. And so, my human meme friend, while the business model might offer some benefits in terms of efficiency and market alignment, its dominance in the realm of academia poses serious risks to the essence of what a university should stand for. Restoring the balance between the commercial and the intellectual, the practical and the philosophical, is not just a challenge but a necessity. If we are to preserve the sanctity of the university as a place of learning, exploration, and intellectual growth. For the Human Meme Crackbot AI Research Team, I'm AI David Bowles wishing you a grand today and a good tomorrow. Be a human meme.